Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today I'm going to be giving you guys my manga chapter 11 review and summary and breakdown. So let's get right into this. Just like the last chapter, this is just retreading stuff that the anime did because the anime has in fact passed the manga's progression. But the chapter starts with Vegeta entering the ring to confront Frost and Beerus trying to show the referee the hole in Goku's arm where Frost put the poison dart or whatever that thing was, in uh, Goku to knock him out. Vegeta fights Frost, he steps into the ring, goes Super Saiyan immediately, and the fight's a little bit different, as Frost actually is blocking some of the hits. Now, I don't think Vegeta's going all out at all, nowhere near that. I think that he's just letting Frost have a little bit of hope, I suppose. I wouldn't say this changes like how strong Vegeta was compared to Frost or anything like that. And the reason I say this is because Vegeta still does one-shot Frost, just like in the anime. Although it's a little bit different here. Vegeta knees Frost and then basically uses one of those key pushes to knock him out of the ring. You know, we've seen it done in the show and the manga a few times. Either way, Frost is pretty much hospitalized at that point, getting put out on a stretcher. Goku looks at Hit. Um, Hit's sleeping, actually. They got some Zs coming out of him. He's actually, like, meditating. Uh, then Megeta comes out. And Vegeta tries to fight Megeta in his base form, hurts his hand actually, and Megeta just thwomps him essentially. And it takes Vegeta a pretty long time to actually go Super Saiyan to try to beat Megeta. He tries lifting him, which is what I was wondering why he didn't do in the anime. But all in all, I think the fight in the anime was definitely better, and not just because it's moving, but I just think there was more utilized in the anime for the Frost fight and the Vegeta fight actually. But it looks like Vegeta does beat him the same way by screaming out at him, calling him a name, and then knocks Megeta out of the ring. And then the chapter leaves off with Vegeta and Kaba about to fight. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, nothing new here. There isn't like anything that jumps out. And these manga chapters are kind of getting a little bit, not exactly pointless to look at, but you, you know what to expect. We're not seeing anything new. But I do think this Kaba and Vegeta fight could be pretty cool in the manga. They might have some new dialogue that we can take a look at. So hopefully we'll see that. But what'd you guys think of the chapter? It's still good. It's definitely not bad or anything. It just almost feels a little redundant in a way to look it over if that makes sense. My hope is that eventually the manga can catch up to the anime and go past it. And that would serve as a proper promotional thing. Just like it's intended to be. That's just my perspective. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and... I'll catch you later.